The topic I chose for my project has to deal with exploring the Cubist art movement. I will explore the world of Cubism and how it influenced our culture. Cubism spilled over into many other forms, not just painting. Cubism began in the early 20th century. It is considered to be one of the most influential visual art styles of its time. Cubism is still being used today by modern artists. Pablo Picasso had helped start the movement. Through his artwork, Pablo transformed abstract art into what came to be known as Cubist art. George Broke worked with Picasso in order to start the movement. Both Picasso and Broke paved the way for others to use their abstract abilities. Analytic Cubism staged modern art's most radical break with traditional models of representation. This form of Cubism abandoned perspective which was unheard of at the time. Synthetic Cubism proved to be equally as important and influential to later artists. Instead of relying on depicted shapes and forms to represent objects, Picasso and Baroque began to explore the use of foreign objects as abstract signs. Paul Cezanne's use of three-dimensional form helped influence the Cubist art movement. His work inspired both Picasso and Baroque to start the movement. Even artists today still incorporate cubism into their artwork. Bryce Hudson used cubist form in order to create this piece. Even though the movement is not around anymore, artists still incorporate it, it into their work. Cubism not only is being represented on a canvas, but it is also being used in architecture. This assembly building in India shows how art and architecture can be used together. This building is another example of Cubist architecture. Without the Cubist movement, buildings like this may have never existed. Outside of paintings and architecture, the Cubist movement inspired writers as well. Gertrude Stein used repetition and repetitive phrases as building blocks in both passages and whole chapters. This style of writing was influenced by Cubism. There were many artists who joined the movement. Jean Metzinger was one of these artists who decided to join that movement. His works inspired others to join as well. Other artists that j later joined the movement was Albert Glace. Albert was a French artist, theoretician, philosopher, and self-proclaimed founder of Cubism. Robert Dulani was also a French artist who joined the Cubist art movement. Robert, his wife, and others decided to start their own movement called the Orphism Art Movement. Henri Le Fouclier was born in Hisden, France. He was seen as one of the leading figures of the Cubist art world. His works incorporate abstract themes 
that fit perfectly with the idea of cubism. Fernand Logie was a French painter, sculptor, and filmmaker. He was born in Argentine and became a cubist painter. In his early works, he created a personal form of cubism, which he gradually modified into a more figurative, populist style. Lastly, Juan Gris was born in Madrid, Spain. He used cubism aspects in order to set his works apart from other painters. Even though he was born in Spain, he worked in France for most of his life. Cubist painters rejected the inherited concept that art should copy nature or that they should adopt the traditional techniques of perspective, modeling, and foreshadowing. In Cubist work up to 1910, the subject of a picture was usually discernible. Although figures and objects were dissected or analyzed into a multitude of small facets, these were then reassembled after fashion to evoke those same figures or objects. Cubism is still being used in the art world today. As you can see, modern characters like Superman and the Joker are represented through cubist aspects. This type of art is timeless and works well with modern art.